you've had a bad man flash or corrupt man or it's just acting crazy after an RG8, I'm about to show you how to fix that right now. All right. <clears throat> First thing you want to do is open Jade Runner. And you want to download Jade Runner with extras. And uh, they've made this really easy. So what you do is you go to Create Donor. Select your motherboard type. Ours was a Chrono last time. It's basically guides you through the steps. Pretty simple. Um, choose your hack. You know the RGA you're doing. Like if you're doing a, you know, glitch two or, uh, you know, with SMC plus whatever. All right, then go next. Now, if you don't know your CPU key, if you've never put it into Zelle or you haven't extracted it. You can actually use a donor CPU key. Uh, I will sometime make a video maybe about that, but it's, it's pretty simple too. But um, since I know one, I'll put that in. Right here, if you don't know the key vault, just click donor key vault. Well, said I would. Oh, it's not because it's retail. My bad. Sorry, I didn't do that. Let's do glitch two. Let's say SMC plus. <clears throat> Create donor. All right, go next. Let's paste this bad boy in this bitch. Click donor key vault. Let's go next. Oh, it's wrong because I hadn't, that's not a donor. Oh, F7FD. All right, the lockdown value. This is another thing. If you've never booted into Zelle, um, basically what you can do is you can actually go back and look. Even if even if you've overwritten it, it's usually the same. I mean, you can usually find your <laughs> lockdown value. And. Um, what you do is you, if you boot in a Giselle, between the 7 and 11 lines, count the Fs, okay? Count the uh, numbers of Fs. So I think this one, let's say it had, I don't know, 6. Donor SMC config. All right. That is checked. Keep that checked. Uh, and then you click next and you're all set it, it pr pretty much creates this it makes sure this is what you're doing this is what you've got blah 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 you click finish and it will build you a whole new land isn't that awesome the next thing you do is you attach your JR programmer, your Nandex, whatever, your flasher, to your console, and then you're going to create Zell, you're going to write Zell, and then you just write the NAND. Okay? Yay! All right. That is pretty much it.